The music industry changes seemingly every few years, but what doesn't is the need for producers, the people making the beats for the biggest artists in the world. Now, the sound of mainstream music is often dictated by region, and so that's why it's perfect that I'm starting right here at a place with one of the hottest sounds in recent time, Memphis, Tennessee. Take Keith is arguably the hottest producer in hip hop right now, and he'll be guiding me through the process of doing what he does. But before hopping in the studio and trying to become a music producer, I gotta learn the roots of Southern sound, and I hear that Stax is a great place to start. We are in the Stax Museum of American Soul Music, which is at the original site of Stax Records. And this is where all the artists got their start, like Otis Redding, Isaac Hayes, Booker T and the MGs, Wilson Pickett. Anybody who was influential in the Southern Soul Movement and recorded at Stax recorded right on this very spot. Would you mind taking me in so we can look at some Absolutely. stuff Absolutely. I've never been to a music museum before, and there was mad relevant history to learn. Like, you know the song Otis by Jay-Z and Kanye? And the song Cream by Wu-Tang? Those were sampled from Stax Records. I definitely started to see the connections between artists that I listen to now, and where some of them got their inspiration. Talk to me a little bit about some of the things that we've seen, like the church. That's to show the African-American church roots of soul music, which is the strongest influence on everybody in the soul music business, because they all grew up in churches like that. And all that sort of morphed into doo-wop and rock and roll and, you know, eventually hip-hop. Talk to me about the progression of how music is made. You had everybody in the room together. You had a drummer over here and an organ player over here and horns over here. Now, on one track, you may have the producer, <laughs> like Tay Keith, who's right. at his house, and then you got yeah. Drake, who's you know, on the other side of the world. Yeah. And it's kind of like piecemealed. They had to be in this room with a sound guy at a soundboard engineering the music. It was, come in here, sing your song. You got two hours. We're going to put it on a record. We're going to see how it does. Man, so much has changed. And who would have thought that music made in this room 60 years ago and of a completely different genre would still be present in hip hop today? There were 300 albums and 800 singles recorded here. So there's a lot of music that nobody's real familiar with, but that translates into hip hop in a really big way. So you've got Kanye West and mm -hmm. all these people who have done just stack songs over and over and over. I've got lists and lists of hip hop artists who have sampled stacks, you know, from masters. I always hear rappers talk about owning your masters. If you own your masters, then you own that music and you can do with that music whatever you want to including having hip-hop artists sample it or have people do covers of it. Your masters are your gold if you're in the record business. Got a super quick history lesson on the roots of soul, the progression in music production, and the legalities that come with this business. But the biggest takeaway of all, for me at least, was seeing how we wouldn't be where we are today without having what came before us. After a day in Memphis, it was off to Nashville, Tennessee, and it's time to meet up with Tay Keith, a producer that's worked with Drake and Travis Scott, and has a number one hit song all before graduating college. His records are Grammy nominated and played all over the world, but he's still right here at Middle Tennessee State University, finishing up his degree in media management. Basically, when I started producing, I was like maybe 14, 15. It was like me putting beats on YouTube. Lil Wayne type beat, Yo Gotti type beat. When did you even start getting into music in the first place? I'll probably say like middle school, I just got serious about it. I had like a keyboard and I used to like remake like songs out here and shit on the keyboard, just playing it. That eventually led to me download Fruit Loops and like, you know, on a demo mode, you just can't say the, the beat. So. Every time you make a beat, you click off or you gotta start over All with some over new again. shit. So right. basically what you can do with Fruit Loops is make a beat and save the MP3 file, you know? Okay. So I started like saving the MP3 files and making the beat around that. Right, right. You know, that's just, just piecing it. Piecing it together. What kind of music were your parents listening to? What kind right. of stuff do you remember hearing in the crib? Right I remember now? hearing Jeezy, a lot of Jeezy. <laughs> yeah, your parents like, were listening to Jeezy? A lot of Jeezy. I remember like Jeezy had a big influence on my sound for sure kind of like helped me mold what sound I really wanted to go to, that down south Memphis grimy sound, you know? From that point on, that's what I wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? Take these up! 
any of you guys were in his shoes, would y'all still be students at this school? Hell no. He's been here like all this time. He might as well finish. I fuck with Tech. He's your inspiration for the youth. One of the hottest producers in the fucking country goes to the same school as me. So that gives me motivation to work harder. Do you think that there's kids on this campus who don't know who you are? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he don't know who I am. What's up, bro? You know who I am? Yeah, oh, oh, you shit. do know? Oh, all right. So, <laughs> maybe she doesn't. She probably doesn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Hey, excuse me. Do you know who I am? Is your name like King something on Twitter? Nah, that ain't no. me. Nah. No. Okay. See, she I don't know, know who I am. I'm sorry. Nah, it's good, though. That's my good. point. I was trying to make a point. You were just making, I mean, no, like, you yeah. helped make the point. Who yeah. are you? Take keys. Take Have a good day. Yeah, Take care. All right, so later on, we're gonna get in the studio. I'm gonna try to become a producer for a day. I need right. you to help me make a beat. What do you expect? Do you think I'm gonna suck? Do you think I'm gonna be great? What do you think? If you trying to learn how to do it, I can teach you a little something, you know what I'm saying? But if right. you, ain't, you ain't with it, then no, you I'm gonna flop on it. No, man. I'm coming with an open mind, so I'm ready. Yeah, Yo, I got ready. you, I got you. I'm, I'm, gonna t I'm gonna show you a little something. I've gotten to know Take Heath as a person, but now it was time to know him as a producer. Yo, the crew was still setting up all the gear and Take Heath, just joking around, cooked up a beat in like five minutes. That was fast. I'm about to rap, huh? <laughs> uh, look, man, hungry, okay, and I eat some fucking food. And I'm chilling yeah. in the studio, and yeah, I'm with my dude. Ooh. And I'm about to <laughs> pop outside, but it's feeling kinda hot. And I'm looking for these hoes, and I'm looking for these thoughts. And all right, go ahead, stop. Off the top. <laughs> When you make a beat and the right. song pops off, do you sell the beat for a flat amount or you kind of get royalties? How does it work? That's the bullshit side That's of it. That's the worst industry. part of all like, of it. You gotta, you gotta, like, they kind of take away, like, time for, like, the music. It's the fun part. That the fun shit. part is being. We don't leave that to the team, like, the taxes else. and all that bullshit. Yeah. We, we just making music. Where do you normally make your beats? In the studio, at the crib? Where's your, yeah, I, I, your home base, would you say? I say the crib. The robe, I made it, like, in my room. Look alive, I made it in my room. So you don't, in theory then, you don't even need this whole thing. All you need is this. This. Take me from the beginning, so we're using Fruity Loops. Right. We got all the sounds. How does one even begin to make a beat? Um, first, what I say, start with the hi-hats. You know start saying? with the hi-hats. All right, where the hi-hats at? Wait. There's these little buttons. Right. And I'm just kind of clicking them in. Yeah, that's the easy way to do it. But I want to flex though, hold on. Nah, you can't. <laughs> you gonna fuck up you flex. So now that we've laid out the groundwork, we just keep on building. I like that. Yeah. That sounds high, right? Yeah, I fuck with it. You almost got it. Nah, almost. This sounds like shit. Ooh, okay. All right, so we've locked in the hi-hats and the snares. Now it's time to find the melody. I like that one. Yeah, what you think about it? Is that I trash? Like In the beginning, it was definitely tough, but now I'm getting comfortable and it's gonna be smooth sailing from here on out. That's what I want. Yeah. You like that or not? Yeah. I had a kick to it. How do I know when the beat is done, though? Hey, you, you just don't, how are you feeling? Like, uh, I feel okay. good with this okay. one. Are we good? Do you like this? I want to do a producer tag, though. Yeah, you got to record your own tag. Yeah, but I don't want it. I want you to do it. Slow down, Speedy. Oh, <laughs> shit! I like that one. That's good. You got us? So the first one, say it like this. Damn, Speedy, slow down. Damn, Speedy, slow down. Okay. Good one where you say Zam. <laughs> Zam? Zam, Speedy. <laughs> you got a good voice too, I ain't gonna lie. We gonna have to pass that mic over a bit. Damn, Speedy, slow down. <laughs> and say, instead of Speedy, slow down, the exam, slow down, Speedy. Zam, slow down, Speedy. Ooh! I think that was the one. 
The record isn't complete unless there are bars to go along with it, so Tay had his friend Cam, an up and coming rapper, come through and do his thing. Tay, you and I cooked up this beat. Cam, you rapped over it. I think it's time for the moment of truth. Let's hear how this thing sounds, all right? All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. That tag is hard. Yeah. Oh. yeah. They want the sauce, can't cook it the same. If you feel me, they be wanting the same. Look, above all the risks, this ain't even the flex. Speedy, slow down if it's getting complex. Your boy is the green, no more taking no test. These making days if we talking about breasts. Holler about more and we ain't taking less. See, I'm a king, got that crest on my chest. I'm in here with Tay and we living our best. Cause we beans in the worst and then we on the next. That's all. Oh. That's all. Y'all yeah. can't talk thing on this though. I ain't gonna lie, that shit was alright, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing that you had that any producers had whenever they're making a beat is that you had that bounce. You know what right. I'm saying? That's all that matters. When you have that bounce, and you got everybody. Tay, if it's whack, tell nah, me. Nah, now. it's a good beat. It's a good beat. I would have thought that was like a real song. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right. Well, you gassing me up right <laughs> nah, now. Nah, Fredo, Fredo. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. trying to hear the next beat. <laughs> I'm impressed. Being in a studio session is actually mad fun. It might seem like a museum in Memphis and 22-year-old Tay Keith have nothing to do with each other, but that isn't the case. Music is ever-evolving, and we can only thank those who came before us for what we have today. Tennessee is a place with a very rich musical history and a future that's even brighter. And even though the way we've consumed music has changed, there is certainly no shortage of it. Now, some pros of the job, you have full creative control to cook up whatever you want. Some cons of the job, though, is that there are a bunch of legalities that can take the fun right out of the craft. I can honestly say that this is a job that I would actually do because we low-key just cooked up a hit. Who's gonna press play? <laughs>